Hi, this is Christina and how a total solar eclipse led to the discovery of helium, the second most abundant element in our universe. The most abundant element is hydrogen. About 75% of the matter in our universe exists in the form of hydrogen. But helium is relatively rare on Earth, so scientists didn't find it until the year 1868. And then their first sighting of helium wasn't on Earth. Instead, it was on the Sun during the total solar eclipse of August 18, 1868. The French astronomer Pierre Janssen found helium during that eclipse. While studying prominences along the Sun's visible edge, he concluded these great drops of Sun stuff and magnetic fields are made of hot hydrogen gas. But he also found evidence of a second substance that didn't correspond to any known chemical element of the late 1800s. Just two months later, on October 20th, 1868, the English astronomer Joseph Norman Lockyer also found evidence of the unknown element in solar prominences he observed in broad daylight. This unknown element was named helium, for Helios, Greek god of the sun. Today, both Jensen and Lockyer are credited with its discovery. But it was dubious honor at first. Many scientists doubted the existence of the new element. They ridiculed the conclusions of Janssen and Lockyer, since no element had ever been detected in space before being found on Earth. Then, in 1882, the Italian physicist Luigi Palmieri was analyzing lava from Mount Vesuvius when he found the first indication of helium on Earth. It will be another 12 years in 1895, before the Scottish chemist William Ramsey also observed helium on Earth while analyzing a mineral called clevite. Here's the sample from which Ramsey first purified helium. So today, thanks to a total solar eclipse and the dedication of scientists around the world, we know that helium exists. Most of our universe's helium is thought to have formed in the first few minutes after the Big Bang. Helium is also formed via fusion, deep in the cores of stars like our Sun.